channel. My name's Emily if you're new here. If you're old here, you already know what's up. Today I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me out of my makeup bag. Um, so I have some products in here and they pretty much stay in here. Um, I don't really swap out what's in this makeup bag. It's just like a pre-packed bag that's ready to go that has um, a little mini bag full of brushes in it and then all of my makeup in here in case I need to do a face on the run. So if I'm running late to something and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to wear makeup today. I'll grab this bag, run out the door with it. So it's very easy for me. Um, the bag is from Victoria's Secret. Um, it's a couple of years old now at this point, but if you go back on my channel, you can find the haul where I got it with a, like a bunch of like all that Victoria's Secret stuff that I have in the background. Um, I really like it. It's held up pretty well. Um, it is a bit dirty at the back. I should probably give it a bit of a scrub with a bit of detergent, but it is a very good makeup bag and it's a pretty decent size where it can fit quite a bit um, without it being like a big train case, a large makeup bag, um, but it's not too small that I can't fit. Um, like at least a full face with different options in there. I also carried this little sports girl um, brush holder in it with me. Um, this was a gift from my friend Amelia for I feel like it was like my 21st birthday. Well anyway, thanks Amelia because I use this all the time. I have a bunch of mini brushes in here and I'll be using them today. Um, I do have other makeup bags in my collection but this is like my go-to makeup bag. Um, this is the one that stays packed whereas I have like, let me show you what I mean. I have like other makeup bags like this small one for Victoria's Secret. This stays empty in like a drawer down there and if I need to pack a face on the go that I'm deciding the products, I'm like, I can go shop my stash. Whereas this stays with the things that you're about to see in it and I'm going to do my makeup today using this stuff. So I'm going to start off with my, mm, I have a sunscreen in here, yeah. So usually when I'm doing makeup out of this bag, um, it's usually on the way to cheer practice on like a Sunday morning because I like to sleep in after a big Saturday night and then I like to wear makeup usually, um, like pretty much every day I wear makeup. And so I grab this bag and take it with me to training on a Sunday morning. And as we're in the car driving there, I just like smack on a face. Um, this sunscreen, by the way, is from Sunbum. It is SPF 30. It is the premium sunscreen face stick. And I just put this all over my face. Um, usually Sundays are a day that I spend a lot of time, not in the sun, but like it's a sunny up. It seems to be a day that I'm exposed to more sun, so it's good to have that sunscreen in there because um, obviously wear sunscreen every day, guys, please. Um, it'll keep you younger for longer. But also in saying that, um, th having sunscreen in there, it just gives a little bit of like sun protection for a day that I'm usually running around quite a fair bit because after cheer, you know, maybe I do something and run straight to pom training. Um, you know, it's just a lot of time in the sun for me. Um, now I'm going in with some concealer. This is from Rimmel and this is the, um, Match Perfection Concealer. I really like this one. It melts into the skin really nicely and I just go wherever I need it. Right now I feel like I need a lot because I'm kind of breaking out. Um, but usually I just focus it under the eyes and around the nose area. Right now I have some breakouts on my cheek and forehead and stuff that I feel like I want to wear a little extra. But yeah, I don't currently have like a whole foundation in this little baggie. Um, maybe I'll get a like tinted moisturizer, but I'm kind of like going through a lot of makeup right now. And so, um, you know, it's, it suits me to just have that concealer because it's one of those concealers where you can just wear concealer by itself without foundation, or you could even use the concealer as a foundation and do a whole face with it. Um, I find this concealer melts into the skin very nicely, regardless of what you have underneath, but it's really nice with the um, sunscreen underneath because the sunscreen kind of gives an emollient base for it to melt into. And it just kind of seamlessly becomes almost like a sheer foundation. Um, and I can build up the coverage if I want. I can sheer it out if I want. It just does exactly what I'm looking for. Like over here, I don't really have any breakouts on this portion of my cheek. So I can just like rub it over the sunscreen. It kind of just gives a sheer tint to the skin. Whereas over here, I'm going to like keep the coverage a little better under the eye. Because obviously my under eyes are an area that I'd like to keep some coverage. So yeah. It's really, really nice combo. I'm a big fan. Um, that is a concealer that I think I've repurchased at least once or twice. Um, and I've repurchased it for a reason because it just works. It's one of the better drugstore concealers in my opinion. I am just like a big fan of Rimmel concealers generally though, because Rimmel generally has like pretty good um, concealer formulas that I'm into. That's the amount of concealing that I would typically do. Um, and then next, what I would do is go in with a little bit of um, bronzer. So the bronzer that I keep in my bag is from Tarte and this is the Park Avenue Princess bronzer and I will be using this little Real Techniques Kabuki brush. It's kind of like this where you can like split it in half or you, like so it like becomes longer or you can have it 
shorter as a kabuki like that. It's just like a magnetic brush. And I'm just going to bronze the perimeters of the face with this. I really like the tone of this bronzer. Um, it's a very, like, I don't know, the tone is very good on my skin tone. I just went, applied way too much. It's very pigmented. I didn't expect it to be so intense. Oops. I'm going to blend that out for my life. <laughs> Oh well, it's going to work out. It'll be fine. I'm just going to not dig in so hard to the bronze palette now. Not palette. Into the pan. Um, this bronzer is the bronzer that's in... You know in Miley Cyrus when there's that intro clip and she like opens up her makeup bag and she's like getting ready for her show or something? Um, this bronzer is in that clip. It's just such an icon. Um, they have so many like Park Avenue Princess things at top. It's kind of like one of those shades like Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk where it's just like one of the best selling like icon products from the brand. Um, and for a reason, I really just like the tone of it. Um, as you can see by how it's turning up on my face, it is very pigmented. So do be mindful of that. Um, also keep in mind that the makeup that I do out of my makeup bag is like not like a perfect beat. Um, a lot of the time when I'm at home, I could take my time doing my makeup. I can like spend a little bit of time like blending and things like that. This is like makeup that I'm doing in the car, on the go, on the way to cheer practice. It is far from perfect so if this makeup looks like an absolute mess um you know what often when i do this makeup it comes and becomes an absolute mess and turns out like this but you know just gonna bronze the whole forehead and the face because honestly i'm fake tan right now as well so i want to try and match my body a little better as well so i'm gonna be pretty generous with the bronzer but what am i not anyway i'm always pretty generous with the bronzer um, I just saw someone's message saying good morning. Good morning to you too. It's actually not the morning when I am. Um, I live in Sydney and it's like 3 p.m. now. But, you know, no time like the present. I'm going to blend this out. Um, that's pretty good. Like, that's giving me what I was looking for from it. So I'm happy with that. Next, I'm going to go in with a bit of blush. And the blush I'm going to be using is um, the Tarte Exposed Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush. Um, where I can, there we go. Um, Hayley says that she likes my outfit. Thanks, girl. Um, my outfit of the day is this robe from Meshki. It's like one of those like really like, glamorous robes. It makes me feel like I'm in, um, I'm like Lucky from the Britney Spears music video. And then on the bottom, I'm wearing these sweatpants and they are from, um, Brandy Melville. They're just like the gray I think they're called like the Rosa or like Rosalie or something like that. Just like the basic brandy set pants. Anyway, I'm putting on this bronzer. I'm not bronzer. I'm putting on this blush with this um, brush. And this is just a little fluffy brush from Hourglass. Um, and I'm just popping this on the cheeks. Um, does the robe come with a tie? Yes, it does. I don't know if you can see. There it is. Um, I don't know if... Meshki still has this robe up on the website, but I know that you can get like dupes or similar ones from um, Amazon and um, yeah, you can get different lengths. This one is the full length one. If you want to see a video on all my robes, I know um, I actually get a lot more questions than you'd expect on like the robes that I wear in my videos and stuff. Um, I have a whole video up on my channel about all the robes that I have in my collection. It's like a robe try on collection video if you want to go check that out. That is blush done. Um, and now I'm going to go in with some highlight. This is the Exposed Highlight, again from Tarte. Um, I tried to keep it like a bit of a consistent theme in my makeup bag where I tried to keep the bronzer, highlight, and blush all in the same kind of um, brand family so that I have like a full face of Tarte. I just, I thought it was like fun to like keep it cohesive like that. And I had all three of the products that I was interested in having anyway. And so I liked combining them together. And also, they're all like pretty neutral products. So like the bronzer is like a pretty versatile bronzer. The blush is a pretty neutral blush that you could dress up or dress down. And this highlight is like not a particular, it's not particularly golden. It's not particularly pearlescent. Um, it's just like a good, like stock standard kind of shade for me. And so all three of those products, I feel like work well with multiple different looks, different stars and whatever I might be going to. Those three products will work with the face that I'm trying to achieve. Um, if I had a hundred dollars budget to buy makeup, what would I get? Ooh, that's a good question. If you'd like, I could do a video on that. Um, I like couldn't name it off the top of my head. 
Um, but I can guarantee you that in there would be um, either the ColourPop or Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liner, or, you know, the ColourPop Brush Tip Liner. Um, and I'm just going to put highlight down the center of my nose as well. Um, and I also think that the Maybelline um, Master Chrome Highlight would be in there. Um, I think foundations probably be from Rimmel or L'Oreal. Um, what else would be in there? A good bronzer, probably like um, maybe the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. Um, yeah, if you want, I could do a whole video on it, but um, off the top of the off the top of my head, those would be my essentials. Um, next, I'm going to go in with some eyeshadow. This eyeshadow is from Laura Mercier, and this is in the shade Amethyst. It is the um, caviar stick eye color, and I got this from um, I think I have Mecca Beauty Loop bag recently. And so what I do is I just kind of draw along the crease of my eye there. It looks kind of crazy at first, but don't worry, it'll work out. Then I blend it. Doesn't have to be precise. I just blend it everywhere. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Um, how are you guys? What's happening for you today? I was originally going to go to the beach today, but then I saw that it was going to rain. Um, it ended up being okay weather day, but um, I'm glad I didn't go to the beach because I like did some chores around the house and stuff instead. And, you know, it was still a productive day, even though I didn't go to the beach. Tonight, I have tryouts for this thing that I'm not going to really talk about because I, I feel like I don't want to like either jinx myself or like be disappointed if I don't get what I'm trying out for. Um, but I'm trying out for a thing tonight, um, so wish me luck for my thing. I'm just gonna... So what I did after I blended out over the whole eye, I put on a little extra bit of it on the outer corner just to add a little bit of extra depth. And this part I'm not, like, blending as crazily. I'm trying to, like, just, like, blend the edges while keeping the depth, if that makes sense. And I literally just do this with my fingers. I do this with my fingers every week in the car just like kind of patting and trying to shift the product to how I want it to be it's quite a creamy product um it has a bit of shimmer to it um it's easy to manipulate on the eye it's a very easy product to use um someone says they're looking forward to a try on later um I'm not sure what the try on is for but um let me know and I can do a try on of something if you'd like I'm not sure what um particular try on video you're referring to. Okay, so that is about it of what I would do for the blending on the eyes. Wait, I feel like there's a little bit of a line here. There we go. Oh, not, so I'm not doing a try on later. I'm doing a try out. So I'm trying out for something, if that makes sense. Um, Next, I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. The eyeliner I have in this bag is the Tartist eyeliner. Um, someone says, how do I feel about trendy flare slash yoga pants? Um, I think they're really cute. I don't have, um, like, a lot of videos up on my channel of me wearing them. Um, but I do have a pair of, like, flare or, like, loose kind of yoga pants, and I wear them. I think they're comfy. I don't wear them as much as I wear, like, my either, like, tighter stuff because like usually if I'm going to somewhere where I'd wear yoga pants it's probably cheer practice and I'd rather wear like tight pants because like flare yoga pants is more of like a trendy like everyday item of clothing for me and I wear my like my short shorts like my leggings and stuff at cheer more but I am into the trend aesthetically it's just not as practical for like the sports that I do if that makes sense I think they look really good though. They remind me of um, when I was younger, I used to do tap dancing and we would wear those in tap dancing class. And so it reminds me of like my tap dancing child days. I wish the chats would stay up. They always disappear. Um, someone says, love the lightsaber in the back. You mind showing a closer look of it? Actually, I will be doing eventually um, an in-depth look at that lightsaber. Um, but if you'd like to search it up, it's from Seraph Sabres. And it is the Princess Leia lightsaber that they do. So um, I really recommend Seraph Sabres. I've had that one in the back there. Um, it was for my birthday from my boyfriend last year. I've had it for about a 
year now, um, about a year and a month actually, um, because it's my birthday, I remember, and um, it's a really, really nice lightsaber, very high quality, it's got like a neopixel blade, so it's very fancy and stuff, um, so I don't really like take it everywhere with me and stuff, it's like more of like a fancy thing, but I really enjoy it, it's very beautiful, um, it's a very nice gift if you're thinking about getting one for yourself or for someone for Christmas or something, I definitely would recommend. I will do an in-depth video on it eventually. I just keep putting it off. Um, and also when I do an in-depth video on it, I want to like say all the right specifications and all those kind of things. So um, that's why I've like also been putting it off because it's not like I can just sit down and like live stream me doing my makeup. I want like have my notes ready and stuff. So yeah, it's kind of been on the back burner, but it is definitely a video that I'll get around to eventually. It's just like, that lightsaber's not going anywhere, so I'm not in a big hurry to do that video. If you search up lightsaber on my channel, you can find some like videos from when I was in lockdown of me and my boyfriend doing our lightsaber spinning together, though, if you would like to see more lightsaber related content. But yeah, that lightsaber is literally like an exact replica of the Princess Leia lightsaber from the movies. I love it. Oh, you can also see close up of it on my channel in my um, birthday video last year of like my what I got for my birthday. I actually haven't uploaded my birthday vlog from this year. I'll do it really late. I just, I, <laughs> I filmed all the footage on my phone, on my old phone, and then that phone died. Um, and so I need to like, download the footage on my new phone um someone says the cabinet in the back is bugging them the one in the back i never close like i don't think i've closed it in any of my videos it just kind of like the thing is see how i've got some things hanging from it from that little white thing um because i hang things from that door it means that i can't close that door because the white thing like stops the um cupboard from closing if that makes sense um, that is the eyeliner done. That was just the Tartist eyeliner in the, sh the liquid eyeliner from the double take eyeliner duo thing. So one side is like that felt tip liner and the other side is like a coal. Um, I don't use the coal side as much because that one's running low and you just go for a wing liner anyway. Wait, let me, um, let's see the messages came. Um, outfit of the day. I've already done an outfit of the day in this live stream. If you just scroll back. Um, now I'm going to be doing my mascara and this one is the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger, Badder, no, Bigger, Blacker, Badder Mascara. And so it's just like a little mini size of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and I really like this one actually. I've only used it a couple of times so far. It's kind of like a newer mascara to my collection. Um, like I only ever use it when I use this makeup bag and um, I've really been enjoying it. It gives a bit of volume, actually. That's what I think this mascara's strength is. The actual brush is really um, intense. Am I as tall as the closet door? Absolutely not. I probably reach about, I don't know, I'm um, 164, 5, 6-ish centimetres. So, no, that cupboard is the length of, like, the room. It goes from the floor to the ceiling. There we go. That's one I done, and I don't know if you can tell, but it really does give a big difference. It's got like quite a bit of volume in it. The bristles on the mascara brush are kind of like um fluffier. Um, it's kind of a denser brush, and um, I feel like it applies quite easily because the formula is kind of a wetter formula, which I prefer in a mascara. I don't really like buying um a mascara that has like it starts off dry because I feel like it dries out faster. The mascara like expires, fa not expires faster, but like you can't use it more quickly. Whereas if you buy a mascara and it's like a wetter mascara, I feel like you can get more use out of it as it dries out, if that makes sense. There we go. So that is the mascara done. Next, I'm going to go in with some brow product. So, I have two brow products in this little makeup bag. Um, the first one is this little brow pencil, and this is from the brand Neuve, N-E-U-V-E. I bought this in Taiwan last time I was there, ages ago. It's just like a pencil eyeliner. It's made in Japan, and it is in the shade 
I don't know because I can't read Japanese. <laughs> Sorry, that's not going to focus either. Pretty much. That's the kind of colour it is. It will work well for my brow colour and like my hair colour and stuff. And it's just like a like traditional pencil. Like, you know, a wood wooden pencil. Um, brow pencil. And I'm just going to fill in my brows with this. I like the shade. It's a very popular product. It's quite affordable in Taiwan. And so apparently this is popular with um, students for its price. Um, Style Cute PJs Try On. Um, I have videos up on my channel already if you want to search back. Um, I have a try on video of literally every single pair of pajamas that I own. And if you like this one, I also have a, for more of a cute vibe, I do have a try on video of every single onesie that I own because I'm a big fan of wearing onesies. Um, if you'd like to go check that out, that's up on my channel. I have try on videos of pretty much every single item of clothing that I own. If you'd like to go back, I did them, I think mostly last year before I moved here, but not much has changed. Like, if I buy new clothes since those try-on videos, um, of, like, going through each category of my closet, um, usually the updated versions are, like, available, or, um, I have, like, a try-on haul video of those new items of clothing that have come into my life. Next, I'm going in with the Benefit Gimme Brow, and this is a mini size. Look how small. It's so cute. It's like a little baby. I'm just going to run this through my brows just to keep them in place, and then that'll be it for brows. I love the Gimme Brow, it's so cute. It's such like a baby product. And it's very easy to use. The shade I have is three and I feel like it works well for my um, brow color and like coloring and stuff. Oops. So I just at first brush all the hairs up and then I kind of flatten them down like this. I try and give my brows a bit of an angled look I don't want this part to be curved. I want it to be like flatter and then down. Or at least as flat as I can like get it. I don't want them to be like dead flat because that might like look a little odd for my face shape. I try and like, this is like pretty much what I'm going for. Okay, next, um, I want to show you the lip options that I carry in this bag. I carry a few um, and I usually combine them to do a look that I'll show you. So I usually have these three lip products in here. I have um, a Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips Lip Balm. I have this. This is from The Balm. And this is the Meet Matt Hughes um, Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade... Um, what is this shade? Committed. Which is like a mauve moody, neutrally kind of shade. And then this one is from the Colourpop Lippy Sticks range. Um, it's all rubbed off the top. But this is in the shade Bossy in the matte formula. Um, so obviously I could have like just a lip balm kind of vibe, just like very natural, neutral, nothing. And that's nice. Or I could put a little bit of liquid lipstick over the top. I could, you know, do a full liquid lip or I could just like blot it in. Or I could do a full red lip or do a blotted red lip. And I've been feeling the blotted red lip recently, so I'm going to do that with you guys today. So I just put a little bit on the center of the lips and then I'll grab like a finger. And just kind of blot that around to give a bit of color. like a little more it just gives like a bitten amount of like a kiss of pink I mean obviously it's a red lipstick like it's like a true red but blotted around it kind of it's like a pinky kind of shit and it kind of reminds me of like that kind of a pink do you know what I mean it's more of a hot pink because that was obviously red um but yeah that is the completed makeup look this is what I've been wearing on my face recently what I usually do is spray it with a little bit of this Mechamorphosis Mecha Cosmetica Oh, wait, I was going to read out all the label, but then I remembered this actually isn't the mist that's in here. The mist that's in this little spritzer is actually, I think, I want to say it's like maybe the Rimmel setting spray. It's no longer what this originally was, if that makes sense. Like, this is just refilled over and over at this point. I don't know what's in here, but it smells kind of cucumbery and fresh, so it reminds me of the Rimmel one, so it could be the Rimmel one. Anyway, I'll take out my hair and... This is the completed look. Let me just, um, excuse me, parting. What is going on? Okay, there we go. Usually with my hair, I just kind of like smooth it down, kind of parting in the middle and good enough, you know? I could brush it. I do have a hairbrush in this bag. So like sometimes if I feel like I need to like brush something down, I can. 
throw something into a pony better. I can get out a big tangle, but yeah, that's the completed look that I did at on my makeup bag. I'm gonna smile now and hopefully make this the thumbnail later. Wait, let me move some hair. Okay. No, I don't like my hair. How do I make this thumbnail like okay, cute? Do you reckon that was a thumbnail? I hope so. Okay, there'll be one in there. Um, but yeah, that's my little get ready with me out of my makeup bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all the things. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. Wait, I need to hang up. There we go.